Hi YouTube, this is Sandra, aka Simply Love. How you doing? Okay. Um, I'm here to do <laughs> your mid-month reading. I put out a video to let y'all know I'm sorry that I didn't get him out with the rest of them. Uh, I guess today is the 15th, so I'm, I'm still on time. Shoot, what? I'm still on time. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, I got, as soon as I put my videos out, I got, you know, swamped with readings. And I only put about five or six videos out, and I got swamped with readings. So I'm going to, I'm here to finish them up. Sorry about my attire. Uh, my heater went out on me and they just fixed it. Okay. I got a couple of windows up because the, the, uh, it's a gas heater. Uh, and, um, they had to bleed the tank or whatever and put another nozzle in there because it was clogged up. Okay. So there's some carbon monoxide going. I can smell it. You know what I'm saying? So I'll wait for the house to heat up. That's why I got my, I'm, you know, hey, I got my garb on. I got this little space heater, but it ain't doing too much of anything. This is a, a large size house. It actually is really long. So, I'm not going to babble on, okay, just to let y'all know what's up, okay? Bible with readings for one. Could get all your videos out, too. I'm like this because it's cold as hell in here, and I'm waiting for the house to heat up because my heater broke. How about that? All right, so, <laughs> let's go. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm doing this. Maybe that carbon dioxide gets to me. Woo. I ain't had nothing to drink, y'all. I ain't done nothing. Nothing. Okay, it's that carbon dioxide. I got windows open. That stuff might not, it might be blowing it in instead of out. But anyhow, <laughs> this is for the sign of Taurus, okay? I had a conversation with a young lady today back and forth, and she said, I feel like you hate fire signs or you hate tar it's something like that and you know hey i don't hate nobody that's why i call myself simply love because i love everybody these readings ain't personal to me because they're general readings all i'm doing is being used this is a vessel here being used to deliver the messages to you that's all that is if you want to holler and scream at somebody about somebody not liking somebody talk to the talk to the man okay and the woman, the universe, the star, you know, talk to them about that, not me, okay? Don't be shining that light on me about something that you feel like I don't like, okay? But anyway, she's, you know, they, they were uh, nice about it all, you know, and I explained, you know, these are just general readings. Um, I'm not taking it, it's not personal, it's not me doing this, it's this spirit, guys. You have to believe in order to know, you know. I don't hate no particular sign. I ain't into all that stuff. I ain't got time to be hating on nobody or anything. I'm just delivering the messages. And let's move on. Taurus, with that said. Taurus, okay? <laughs> and I'm just going to call it the way I see it and the way I hear it. Too bad. Don't like it. Go somewhere else. Uh, we can't move forward, you know, with some insecurities and you know, not wanting to move or wanting to hear some type of fantasy, fantasy fairy tale telling you what you want to hear. I ain't into all that, okay? Just, I ain't into it. Watch my videos and you'll see. It, this is just, this is for a chosen few. My channel for a chosen few and I love each and every one of you, okay? You gotta be strong. All right, we got the Nine of Rods, Taurus, okay? And the Nine of Rods. Is somebody who came a long way and then they like stopped. It's almost like something got in their way or they feel trapped or something of that nature because you can see the house back here. You can see the trail. They walked that, this person walked that trail up here and then all of a sudden they stopped. Something blocking them, you know. Um, maybe they had some battles regarding a relationship with somebody had some battles you know those battles some conflict something of that nature this is a card of movement maybe somebody moved away from somebody else due to battles they're separating themselves from somebody some of y'all may be in marriage some of you just may be a relationship and you off on your own there kind of like you know even guarding yourself guarding guarding yourself right now for some of you okay Taurus now we have the hermit okay which makes sense guarding yourself for some of you some of you you know you're thinking about something you know a deep thought 
the hermit goes within. The hermit shuts down the world, closes the doors, puts the blinds down, um, freaking uh, gets underneath the bed. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Some of you might, I don't know. Um, uh, they just shut down totally and they listen to their, their guides. They think a lot, they meditate, and they think things over and see things clearly before they make a move, okay? And this is regarding a relationship because this is a, what, love reading? Yeah, right, right, we got that, okay. Queen of Cups or King of Cups, depending on who's watching the video. Um, somebody here is not a happy camper, okay? It looks like two people thinking about something because they're back to back to each other. The Hermit, which may, some of y'all might be involved with a Virgo. Some of y'all are with an air, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And uh, some is a, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Let me see. This is like this. Let me see. She was first, and then he was. No. He was first, and then it's her. They're looking at each. Let me see. How is this going? Yeah, they're look. They're. He's. Somebody. The Virgo got their. If it's a Virgo, but it could be anybody because it's general. Got their back turned to this queen, king or queen of cups. All right? Because they're thinking about something. Maybe a relationship. And maybe this person don't like it. You know, maybe maybe there was some, maybe there's some separation for some of you. And this person is thinking about what they're going to do. If they're going to stay. If they're going to go. I'm picking up. And you're distraught over it. Or this other person's distraught over it. They don't. They're kind of like. I'm seeing a cup here. Where they might be drinking. They got their feet halfway in the water. And their hand touching the water. That's showing there's a, a, a great deal of emotion. Or some emotion going on here. The clothes are all ripped up. On one side. So, you know, there could be some fighting or some disagreement going on. And this could be with inside this person or you maybe taking on this energy, okay, for some of you Tauruses out there. Does that mean I don't like y'all because I'm telling you a story that the guides are telling me? Okay. Um, back, back, back here. Um, the Six of Pentacles here. All right. It, this is telling me that, um... There's somebody in need of help when it comes to their finances, okay? Or somebody's just don't, somebody is like begging all the time. I'm hearing too. Some, it might be you guys or, or somebody's doing this around you guys. Somebody, you might have somebody around you who's begging all the time or needy all the time. Could be codependent. Uh, some of you, some of you could be, you know, um, could have somebody around you who is being, generous to you because maybe you have a responsibility because the woman does have a baby and she's by herself and this may be somebody some of y'all your parents or some relatives or some friends that's helping you out while this Virgo person or whoever it is thinks about what they want to do but they got their back turned and you're not liking it or whoever you turn your back on is not liking it and now somebody's in in need. Sorry about the glare, y'all. Trying to get it so it don't show the glare. So we got somebody here who's being a you know a pure out you know a hole. They came out in somebody else's reading as well. Okay, we are in a retrograde. Remember that. So that's why a lot of these readings maybe the energies are coming out like this. I'm just going to tell it like I see it and hear it. Okay, like it or not. Okay, we all need to. Some light shined upon us, okay, and come out of the dream world. It's no longer a fantasy world. We're moving in a spiritual revel. Uh, we're having a spiritual um, uh, breakdown here. You know, it's it's like a spiritual revolution where people are going to be waking up to what's real and what's not real. That's what I'm here to do to get you in, out of the fantasy world and put you in a reality. If you want to stay in the fantasy world, that's on you. Do that. I'm not forcing nobody to do nothing, but that's what these readings are all about, is to help you. That's it. Whether it's good or bad, the, 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 the guides are trying to direct you and tell you something. That's all. Invest and get yourself a personal private reading to see where you're going. You, you're going to see that negative is going to turn into positive if you follow through. But this is somebody who is very self-centered selfish they don't want to give up no money they got money but they ain't giving it up okay they're very selfish um 
They may have their love and stuff like that. When it comes to their love, they're being selfish and holding back on that. They're just like, uh, this person is unhealthy. Uh, they can have a bit of narcissism. I've been getting a lot of that throughout the readings too. Just hearing the word narcissist, narcissist. These people are very selfish. They think of nobody but their self. They're not giving anything. So somebody's, you know, leaving somebody where they have to ask for things or beg for things or somebody is just codependent they got something but they're not giving they want what you got okay all right so taurus you got the moon card okay the moon and this person that's up being a real jerk or something of that nature and um it could be you could be dealing with, some of y'all could be dealing with a earth sign a virgo in particular uh, air, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, the earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, which is you, you know, or it could be somebody just like you or same sign or the other two signs. Somebody's upside down here that is a earth sign. And then we got here the moon. Okay. And I think that represents uh, Scorpio. All right. Or cancer, something of that nature is a water sign. Anyway. There's something going on, okay? We already seen that resident knucklehead, uh, you know, somebody who's being irresponsible, all right? And they got secrets or there's something going on behind your back here and it's going to come to light. Whatever it is, it's going to come to light and... And this is a major arcana card. Two major arcana cards together, dark and light, okay? The dark is dark now, but you get ready to see the light for a lot of you out there, okay? And we got the Four of Cups. You're going to find out, you know, you're doing all this stuff or, or you know, you're wasting your time on somebody who don't give a fuck. And that's just the bottom line. You, you, a lot of you Tauruses are wasting your time, your energy, because you look at that. Look at them on their face. I'm getting a lot. I'm getting this this knucklehead and this uh, king upside down in, in quite a few readings. You, you, you're extending yourself way, way too much and they don't even appreciate it. Okay, look at that. Somebody treat me like that. I wouldn't be having my hands folded, my face all turned up. I, it'd be like, I'd be happy. I ain't going to be looking like this. I'll be like, yeah, thank you. And thank you, and you too, even though y'all look like triplets, thank all all three of you, but <laughs> this is not trip, this is the same person, what they're illustrating here is that, you know, somebody's like going out their way, this is really one person, look at them, they all the same, it's the same woman, but they're illustrating here that they're do you're doing too much, or somebody's doing too much to you, and you ain't appreciating it. Um, or, you know, you're just like serving this person up, giving them your all in all, and they just sitting up there like, I don't give a shit. That's what's coming in light here. You're going to get some information or, you know, some kind of letter, some kind of information, communication from somebody regarding something, and it may be for a lot of you, love. Okay? It may be real love, because this is the king of... King of Cups could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be you could be hearing from a fire sign as well. Okay, for some of you, these are different scenarios going on here, and somebody wants to offer up their love to you, or you want to offer up your love to someone. Or it could be for some of you, somebody wants to come in with some type of an apology. I see some of y'all getting flowers, cards, messages, text messages, love letters, love notes, all kind of stuff like that. Because uh, somebody may be in regret in the way they treat did you all right or you doing this to someone else it always can flip the script you know so i ain't letting all y'all off the hook because it could be some of y'all doing this but the majority of you this is happening to you uh somebody may some of y'all going to be making up a break up the makeup some of y'all is just going to be like I'm, I'm mostly i'm hearing break up the makeup that's why I'm here, because somebody just was extending their self to either you guys too much, giving too much to somebody, and they just did not appreciate it. Because, look, this is a selfish person, all right? Upside down. 
they're selfish, they're narcissists, all they think about is their self, they don't give two shits about you or anybody else. They in it for their self to win it for their self. All right. And 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 it's gonna come, you know, you got your suspicions, you you know, this is about, you know, it could be about um it's secrets or something fishy going on, all right, and and then you're gonna see it. It's gonna come to light. All right, you're gonna it's gonna bright it's gonna be so bright. Your eyes might bulge out your head of seeing just how narcissistic this person really is and how selfish they are, okay? But you're going to, once you find out or something like that, you may back off, but you're going to hear something back from somebody. Could For some of you, it could be somebody from the past or whatever you're dealing with, and, you know, they kind of, like, didn't appreciate you or ran off or something like that. Then they want to come back with some kind of apology stuff some of y'all might take it some of y'all might not for some of you it's going to be somebody brand new getting rid of this old person or turning your back on this other person okay taurus all right now we're going to clarify i'm getting all kind of messages on my uh <laughs> all okay Okay, we're looking at the nine of rods, okay. For some of y'all, for some reason, I'm here in jail for some reason. If that resonates with some somebody out there who's listening, just get in the comments, let me know. I don't know. I'm the, that's what I heard, so I figured I'd say it. I don't know what that means or nothing like that. I just heard it. All right, nine of rods. Nine of Rods, you got the Four of Pentacles. Somebody may be leaving a relationship because somebody is holding back on their emotions and their feelings, okay? So they're blocking their self off from this person or walking away from this person. Or this per or some for some of you this this is greed here. Somebody's holding back, man. And they may be holding back on finances. Maybe there needs to be some help in a situation and that person ain't helping you. They holding on tight to it. Somebody could, and for some of you, you're holding tight on a relationship that no longer serves you or a marriage that no longer serves you. All right. Okay, now we're looking at the hermit, okay? We're clarifying all of them, okay? But I'm, I'm going through it pretty fast because <laughs> I got to get this done and I got readings to do tonight. And I want to get it all done like I promised you guys. Okay, the Hermit is the Seven of Swords, Sneakiness, Liar, Cheater, Thief. And somebody, this Virgo person could be doing this because that's who the Hermit represents. Or somebody's thinking about uh, somebody who may be in their life that's lying, cheating, stealing, being greedy, being selfish. Okay, they may be thinking about they're turning the Virgo, whatever, or whoever this may be is turning their back on this liar, cheater, thief. All right, now we got the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is showing up with the Nine of Cups. So with the Queen of Cups and the Nine of Cups together. I'm, I'm feeling like somebody's in hope of something, you know, in hope of a new start or something of that nature or hope that, you know, their love sticks around or something of that nature. That's what I'm hearing. And also for some of you, for some of you, this is somebody who is like arrogant. They're very arrogant, um, very boastful about what they, you know, about themselves. They could be self-absorbed, okay? And this may be getting on some of y'all nerves or you may be sick and tired of it. Some of y'all may be driving a drink, maybe too much drinking because these are cup cards here. But this person is very bold. For some of you, you're involved with somebody who's, like I said, very self-centered, very, uh, they're into themselves, very self-centered, very narcissistic, they can also be a social social path. You don't know what those things mean. Look it up. You can find it out. And it might be some extensive drinking for some of you or somebody around you is doing this. Too much party, party, top party all the time, party all the time. That's by Eddie Murphy. Look it up on YouTube. Party all the time. 
Eddie Murphy made a record. Yes, he did. Yes, he, yes, he did. Y'all look that up, okay? Message in the music back in my day. It was message in the music. I'm telling you. Somebody had to teach us something. <laughs> okay. Moving on to the Six of Pentacles. Let's move on. Simply love. Okay, Six of Pentacles. What is that? This is the Ten of Wands upside down. So somebody's releasing a burden. Somebody in a relationship is releasing this burden of begging or you know, always needy, asking for stuff, a gold digger, a beggar. Put, put it in that category that it falls in, okay? Y'all get the message. You get the drift. <sighs> okay, we got the, um, the King of Pentacles in reverse. I kind of know what you got. There we go. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles in reverse. We got the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> For some of you, you're dealing with somebody who has uh, a dual personality. They one person one minute and one person the next. You know, they they flip flop. Okay. All right, or some of you are dealing with somebody who's dealing with another person and they're juggling. The moon, the moon, is gone. the moon is got the three of cups. Some of y'all in a triangle relationship, and you're going to find out about it. The sun. The sun is like the king of swords. Okay. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Some of y'all going to find out about a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Bob. With, there's three people. And with the sun, with the king of swords... Some of y'all going to find out, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, uh, some, this, this person could be married or you might find out that they're married or in a, or in a long-term relationship. Some of y'all are going to feel like this person here is, you know, um, maybe a good person fit for you, a good partner for you, somebody else may be coming along here after you find out after some of y'all find out about you're in a, a third party relationship or you're in a third party with somebody this person, because of it being the son, you know um, uh, in this instance I'm hearing that um, this person is going to bring you some joy or some happiness, okay that you've been missing out on, it's going to come about or come to light about this king of swords who, who's, who's going to be off or something, you know, or, or, or save you. I'm here like a savior, like a breath of fresh air is what I'm hearing. Somebody's going to lay down for some of you the truth. Truth, truth's going to be all up in your face, okay, or vice versa. You're going to be off in somebody else's face with truth. Regarding a person. Four cups. Let's hold me this one. Four cups is the king of pentacles behind that. Some of y'all may be disappointed in a king of pentacles, okay? Somebody who is well established. Somebody may, you might find, you know, you might be disappointed. Somebody, you know, uh, I'm hearing some of y'all are in it for the money. You know, it's like money, a money situation, okay? You see something is, you know, and you take kind of like, I'm just going to go along with this because of the money. 
but not really happy in this situation. Money can't buy you love. Remember, y'all, by the Beatles, okay? Look that up on YouTube. Money can't buy you love. It can't. Do you see that person being happy, even though they're around a lot of wealth and money is and, and, and shit and material stuff? That don't make nobody happy. So some of y'all Tarsons ain't happy or, or, or vice versa. Somebody ain't happy with you because, you know, it's just all about materialism. Or somebody could be using you for your material, for material gain. But it ain't, it ain't, and it ain't, you ain't a happy camper or they're not if you're treating that person this way. Money can't buy you love. I think that's how it went. Something like that. Okay, we're going to do the uh, Eight of Rods. Queen of Swords. Got the King or King of Swords. Queen or King or this King is Pentacles or Queen or a Pentacles or a Queen. Just depends on watching the video. You, Some of you want to hear. We'll get a message from the king or queen of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So, there's a connection going on here somewhere, or some competition for some of you. You might hear it from this king or queen, all right? A message being delivered via mail, over the phone, something, all right? And the message may be, the message will be regarded as Knight of Cups or Queen of, or, or Prince of, Princess of Cups. Can't, uh, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra don't really have to be. Maybe contacting some of you guys regarding a love offer, okay? Or you may do, be doing this to someone else. The Knight of Cups. There it is. No, it's not, because two of them fell, no. What are they contacting them about? Love for what? Why? The tower. Somebody's getting turned down. If somebody's, if you're offering somebody up some love or something like that, or want a relationship, or some of you just may be trying to come in to apologize about your ways or how you treated somebody, it's, it could be a past person for some of y'all, could be just a, a relationship that you've been in for a while or a marriage or something, and it's going to be, there, it's going to be turned down. Sorry for some of you, it's going to be turned down. Or some of you are just going to get an enlightenment about somebody that something about them you really, really don't like and you're just going to tear it down uh, or explode on somebody or somebody explode on somebody. They just want to apologize, coming with gifts, candies, all that kind of mushy stuff, but somebody ain't having it with the tower being here or it's just going to be a surprise. You know, some somebody's gonna get surprised. Uh, a surprise letdown is what that, what I'm trying to say. All right, so that's it on that part. Let's go ahead and get to your healing cards. I got five of them down here. All right, and one is door to romance. Okay, for some of you out there, it is gonna be a door to romance, a new beginning. Okay, for some of you out there, so you got the key. Some of y'all got the key. Go ahead and put the key in there and open the door for romance and start all over again. Or it could be, you know, something that's going to a break up the makeup for some of you. That's what I'm hearing, okay? And it's going to be a happy family for a lot of you, you know? Happy family, you know, see that uh, rainbow across that sky? This is a beautiful, beautiful card. You know, beautiful things are coming for some of you, Taurus. So don't give up. Don't. And it's balanced because it's the number four. So there's balance there, okay? Harmony. Um, a sense of uh, a real true family unit for a lot of you. So that's your door to romance, okay? For some of you, see, balance. Angel balance. So some of you are going to get into a real stable, balanced uh, relationship with someone, Okay. Some of you need to work on your fourth chakra with Archangel Raphael. So type that in YouTube. Do what you need to do, okay, to heal. That's a beautiful card. You're going to have some healing. Some of you are going to heal from a situation that you let go of. Healer of ages, okay? So 
Remind me again of the magician, you know, just goes on and on and on. Always can create things, always can make things happen. They got that halo, that light, like uh, enlightenment across their head there. That spiritual connection is very spiritual. Uh, they got the fire in their hands, which means that they can make anything happen, okay? Um, healing. Healing of ages. Okay, that's all I can feel from that card. Okay, now the last bit here, and then I'm done. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> I have my box of answer love cards. They answer a question. So you guys close your eyes and ask one question. If this question doesn't answer the question that you've asked in your head, go try, go look on your uh, sun, moon, or rising signs or moon, or rising sign or Venus sign and see if that question answers, okay? You're welcome to do that to the rest of the other videos. And if that doesn't answer, you know, hey, you know what? And if none of this resonates or some resonate, you know, call and get your own private personal reading. This is just general. Just general. You know what I'm saying? the question y'all and I'm going to pick it they have reversals on them and they have uprights and whatever it comes out my hand that's how I'm going to read it alright Taurus what's up okay I got one for you Taurus ready ready here we go and it came up upside down so it says <clears throat> Creates problems with in-laws or friends. Not going to get into that. It's just the answer to some of y'all questions. Y'all the only one know what that means. And I'm going to leave it at that. Okay? Thank you so much for your patience, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thanks for all the beautiful comments. All you ones that come along and wants to hear Simply Love talk every month and um, get in the, uh, uh, the, um, <laughs> the information that you may need and, and help that you may need, look below. You'll see my number and things there. Contact me if you want to find out what's going on uh, in your own life personally, catered just for you and you only. Just you know, give me a call. Hit the little button in the description and it'll bring it down like a drop box it'll come down and have all the information in there sometimes I'll put my number right in comments so you can see it and my email um, again thank you guys for your patience I really appreciate it um, I appreciate all you guys who called in for personal private readings um, congratulations to each and every one of you you all know who I'm talking about all of you I love my family here is simply love my subscribers even my onlookers I love you all and um, <clears throat> and if you like to subscribe hit the subscribe button and also hit the button to where you can receive the notifications to when my videos come out okay make it easier on yourself okay so thank you so very much love each and every one of you and, and you know that love is all there is you know that love is all there ever be you know this okay love yourself and allow love to come into your life take care and i'll see you in april bye <laughs>